I, I, I'll tell you this. I, I, I know that there, are, that there are more dragons, that there are more baby dragons and eggs in the lair. I, I know that much. I, I really don't know anything else. I, I just got into the cult. We're just, we're, we're just after loot. Can I roll a perception check to see if he's lying? You can, uh, you can give me an insight check, sure. Nope, oh, that's fine. See, we usually call that a BS roll, so... <laughs> a plus one. You think oh yeah, I believe him. <laughs> yeah. You, you, th you definitely think that you saw any of the truth, so... Oh yeah, he just started today. <laughs> I ask him how many in the army that's in greens in the, uh, in the cult West. oh there were there were probably a hundred of us uh, but the number is down uh, we underestimated greenest certainly did but that but that 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 that's all I know that's all I know I say to the group, how about we let our uh, dwarf general here take care of the rest. We still have to free this village from all the kobolds and everything. Another Isn't it cultist. pretty late though, in at this time? Uh, it's probably about uh, probably about 11 p.m. now. It's probably been it's been several hours since you've since you've actually gotten inside of the the actual keep itself. It's probably about eleven o'clock. Probably a little after. Gimlet Graham, what's up? Um, Long time no see. With Hope you're all right, man. We do need to free this village from the grasp of cobalts and cultists, but um, you kind of went down for a bit there, didn't you? It'll take a hell of a lot more than that to keep me down. I, like a I, lack of sleep. I saw that you fell pretty easily in battle. D Dave, at this <laughs> point, I take out my short sword and just slice off his other ear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. He goes, no, no, wait! And you slice his ear off, whoosh, and now blood's spewing out of the other side of his well, eyes. But don't think we should really kill this prisoner. And now he's starting to well, scream because slice, he can't hear slice anything. Slice a tip off. Slice a tip off the remaining ear. Uh, yeah, you like said, the you, top lobe. Uh, no, you said whole ear. You, you, you said, said ear. you slice his ear off, so we slice his ear off. And now he says, I I I can't hear And now you Good know he's guy. got he's got blood spewing out of uh, out of both of his uh both of the sides of his head. He's got two holes in the side of his head now. And the root, root I shout just, cleric root, root, <laughs> just kinda shakes his head and starts to walk back up the stairs to have a seat look for It's the, the dragonborn, he's bloodthirsty. And Krivgar is gonna uh, follow him out. So after after several seconds of of him bleeding, he basically falls unconscious again. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> so does this keep have a cafeteria of some sort? A cafeteria. <laughs> Yeah, we're serving we're we're serving greenest finest shepherd's pie. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Go and grab a plate, lassie. <laughs> I have been here, Toad. <laughs> All right, so the cult has passed out. Uh, one, uh, several of the what appears to be the holy men or or, or clerics, uh, they too they do start to tend to the the cultist that is unconscious. And and as you <laughs> stick his ears back on, and as you as you guys start to uh, kind of walk away a little bit, one of them looks up at towards the dwarf and tells Escobert, "We lost him. We lost him, Escobert. He's dead." And then he just kind of looks at you, uh, Silver, and just gives you this this evil eye. Escobert does. What? He told us everything he knew. He could have been lying. Yeah, he, Escobert doesn't seem happy. Uh, he kind of storm, storms off and uh, he says, Follow me! 
and he, he tells all of you to, to follow him and he throws his he throws his uh, weapon over his shoulder and he uh, heads down the the small hall to a door and he you notice that you know like I told you last game he had this massive key ring and he takes this massive key ring and starts fiddling through all these keys and he drops it <laughs> picks his keys back up uh, finds the key fiddles it in the door opens up the door and there is a uh, pretty much a, a supply room and this is actually wall to wall supplies it's uh, probably about a 30 by 30 foot room and it's just floor to ceiling of nothing but supplies crates, barrels, bags all kinds of different totes possible to resupply used arrow, um, crossbow bolts Sure, uh, you can you can resupply that. You see lots of barrels of, of arrows and, and crossbow bolts, so you you can definitely resupply uh, any of the ammunition that you're missing. I'll take another javelin and put it in my quiver. Is there any plate armor in here? Killed it. <laughs> oh, there's there's uh, about four or five sets of plate armor. They have big neon signs over them that says <laughs> "Plate armor off." Flashes back on plate armor, and there's two katanas as well on a katana rack that are right beside this plate mail. And then you wake up. <laughs> Damn oh, you! God. Or split split mail, I guess it is. No, there's there is a uh, absolutely no plate mail. Uh, there's really no armor at all in here. Uh, just basically ammunition, basic weapons like you know, short swords, long swords, stuff like that. Okay. okay, well, I'm going to take enough crossbow bolts to restock back up to, um, to I guess, 20, if okay. that's what the okay. standard thing is. Yep, you can refill all of your quivers, so. I would never troll black. No way. And as I guess we're going through this, hey, I tell the door, Bacon? sorry about the prisoner, I'll bring you a new one. <sighs> and he says, well... This is why you're here. And he starts uh, moving some crates, and he goes, "Well, just don't stand there. Help me." So there's a, a lot of crates. I help him with my ten strength. And <laughs> everybody's able to move these crates. About five ten minutes go by. You guys work a. Uh, you guys work a, a a nice pile of, and actually the door's locked too. He actually he literally locked the door behind him. So as you guys are clearing these crates, boxes, bags away. Uh, there is a uh, a sewer grate that appears behind this stash, and he tells you that this is the secret tunnel that will allow you to get down to the river bank. And this uh, uh, it's actually a fairly long tunnel. Nobody's been down there. He's never been down there. Uh, Greenhill, uh, this is this this keep was made uh, quite a while ago. So this this uh, has never really had to been, it's never had to been used. The keep's really never been any kind of problem. Uh, although Night Hill and Escobert have been debating on possibly using this uh, in in case the the dragon really did do a lot of damage to the keep. Maybe a wall comes down. You know, he, he's pretty much just telling you that they did have a contingency plan to use this sewer exit if if it were if it were going to be needed. Well, it'll be it'll be available for use after we're through. We'll clear it out for you. Well, I don't know what's down there. There's 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 no labyrinth. There's no dungeon. It's just a straight shot tunnel. Much as I can remember. Dave, if I pull out a torch and go to the nearest torch, lit torch, and light my torch up and sort of. Use it as light. Okay. Actually, so you... uh, I was going to just cast Dance and Light. Doesn't that stay stationary? I can move it. Here, I'll, I'm going to add point all for everyone, guys. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. There you go. Add point all. So um, if, if you guys don't have Ruba 5 EXP, you do now. Everybody got 5 points. Night vision, just see, does he just see the tunnel continuing on? How tall is this tunnel, by the way? Well, actually, you're looking down into a sewer, and yep. the grate is locked. You can see that there is a there is a lock on it. 
Now you can look down inside and it is it is pitch black dark. There is not one single ray of light. There is no not one single beam of light. There's nothing. No light at all. It's just pure black. Solid darkness. Darkness. Yeah. Yeah, no problem, Shazor. My pleasure, man. Yo. Torch carrier. Yo. Okay. So, yes, guess... Bear, you got the you got the key for this? I I do. So let's he uh, let's get open then. He starts fiddling around and he actually he he pulls the key off, and he you know he messes around with it for a couple minutes, and this key uh definitely looks like it's not ever been used, and he gets down there and uh, he shows it to you, and he says I'll I'll open it up for you. So he, he gets down on his knee, opens it up, and actually it 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 takes him a couple minutes to get this thing open, and he has to literally pull the key back out. He takes his hammer, bangs on the grate several times. And this this grate is actually this sewer grate is actually kind of rusty as well. So you get he actually gets the he gets it open eventually. Is there gonna be another grate like this at the other end? There's there is not a uh, there's really not a grate per se. There there is a grate, but it's not a visual grate as what as what you can yep. see. Yes. This this grate is uh, pretty much. Uh, he tells you that it's it's probably a foot, maybe a foot and a half under the earth, and it will literally take you out the base of the hill, and which should uh, it actually should. Uh, Take you right to the uh, just to the 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 foot of the of the stream down there to the south, and I'll I'll put you guys back on the the map real quick. I'll I'll ping the map where where it's gonna pop out. So stand by one second. All right. So you guys are in this building right here, and it it's literally gonna pop you out of right around here down towards the bottom of the hill now the only bad thing about this is it's not like going out it's not like running out of the out of the front gate you know what I'm saying it's not like literally running out of the front gate uh, you do know that there was quite a bit of activity out there so you're gonna need to be careful as well I mean, all of you would know that anyway, because the way that he's describing it, this is basically, yeah, I'll put the barrel where you're going to come out. You're, you, yeah, you're basically going to come out right around here. That's pretty much where, the, where the, you're going to be able to dig your way out. But he tells you that at the other end of the tunnel, there should be another grate. But then again, he's never been in the tunnel. So uh, he knows that there's uh, no dungeon, no labyrinth, no maze. It's just, he says it should be just a straight shot. Okay. We're going to get a marching order for this? Yeah, I'll wish first. I want to go in the lead. I have dark vision and I'm sneaky. Um, I'll, actually, I'll go after, if I go after the rogue, then Kadojo go after me and still kind of see past me I suppose you're not fit taller than me do you guys mind if uh, you guys mind if I take a, a real quick bio break I didn't get to take no. a bio break because of that that go massive <laughs> raid that I had done so no problem uh, yeah I'll, I'll be back in like uh, give me like just a couple minutes couple five minutes I'll be right back and I'm, I'm really sorry guys to, to go AFK it's but I, I really need to no worries. Be right back. No my, worries, man. My pee bottle's full, so I mean, <laughs> oh, I can't. It's, it's to the rim. I've got to go. Empty Motorman's out. friend. Em, em, empty that piss jug. And, and I, I, I am just kidding on that, by the way. So <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, everybody in the stream, I'll be back uh, in like just a couple minutes. Uh, sorry about this, but that Hova raid, holy crap! There were so many people in here. Uh, wow, that that was amazing. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. Be right back.
You guys sure you didn't want to rest first or something? Oh, shit. It's going to take a long rest to get the spell slots back. Bard. Yeah. Bard, the, uh, the chat's asking for a tune. Oh, really now? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoa. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yep. Shit. Your restful tune. I was just hmm. thinking since it's like PM in Faerun and like, the bard has no spells and stuff like that. And Kadojo fell down as well. Nasty. I was hoping we'd have been able to do some kind of rest, at least a short rest, but... Short rest is an hour. I'll be yep. right back, guys. My internet side to crap out on me, so I have to restart. No problem, mate. Sure, no problem. I think the viewer number just dropped like majorly. <laughs> I think they think it's over. Yeah, I see that. Which of us is carrying the torch? I think it's Kadojo. Or is it Stromwell? I'll wait for him to get the gun. I'd really like for him to hang back in the party and... and yeah, and uh, you go on and scout ahead. Yeah, stealth and, and is right in my wheelhouse. All right, sorry about that, everybody. Welcome Holy back, shit, mate. I'm back. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm back. Uh, Kadojo's just resetting. He's no back problem. already. Yeah, I, I had to. Uh, I had to take a bio. My bad. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No worries, man. No worries. I was gonna get. I was gonna take a uh, bio break, but something happened. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden. An All of a sudden, my computer started smoking. <sighs> ah, it's so good to get something cold to drink as well. All right. <clears throat> so is everybody back? Kadojo, you back as well? Yeah, I'm just getting into the game. And I'm back. All right. Okay. So Escobert, uh, he has actually got the 
the grate off of the pretty much the the tunnel that he has told you about it's a straight shot uh, or he says he he thinks it is anyway but just from what has uh, been passed down from generation to generation and uh, what do you guys want to do Zelo slips over the edge of the over the edge of the, the hole where the grate had been sees rungs and starts to climb down the rungs to the bottom and into the sewer Okay. Um, so we'll, go we'll go down after them. You're the you're the first one down, Zelos. That is correct. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you guys over into a very nice, beautiful, dynamic lighted map. So one second. <laughs> you, uh -oh. guys, you guys want maps? We will get <laughs> maps. I like doing both. I like I like the freehand stuff as well. Yeah, I, I like a little bit of both. I, I, I do want to do both. I, I don't want to do every single encounter uh, on a on a grid, on a tile. So, I mean, we'll we'll try to get away from, from that as well. But, you know, it's the, it's the only way I've really dungeon mastered. So, yep. we will uh, we will continue to uh, to try different things. Which I don't think is a bad thing. Alright, so are you guys uh are you guys all here? Nope. Oh. Yep. I think so. Alright, so you guys are here. Uh there should be two people that have no light whatsoever. Now, uh the two dragonborns. You guys uh can you guys see on the screen? You shouldn't be able to. Well, I have a torch, Dave. Okay. I lit a torch. Okay. So first off, uh guy, you've you've made it down. So Zelos, you're down first. Uh, you you see this this area here, and as you guys start to all descend down the down the ladder, you notice that this is a. As you enter, you can notice towards the the southern exit, it, it appears to have tons of spider webs, and there's a a very fine mist of of dust on everything as you guys light your torches. So now the first thing is, seeing that there's no light, but however, the two half-elves and the dwarf, you can see your lighting should be okay, so you should have at least dim lighting. Now for Kadojo, uh, you wanted to light a torch, correct? So you're going to hold one weapon in one hand, and I guess in your offhand you're going to uh, wield a torch? Yeah. Okay, and that would be awesome. You could literally attack with that torch as well and get like a uh, a 1d4 uh, improvised weapon damage. That would be pretty cool. All right, so we get your torch lit up. You, you take your tinder box. And what does the torch say? Does the torch say... You can actually... Let's see. I think it's... I never. You can actually link that stuff now as well. So it has a... Uh, burns for one hour and it provides bright light for 20 feet and then dim for another 20 so a total of 40 and 20 okay very good stand by all right so there you go kadojo you have illuminated the the cavern uh, much more than what it was uh krivgar you can light something as well or you can you can use uh, whatever you want. Or you can just kind of go off of the light of of Silverclaw because there is definitely enough. And you guys yeah. descend down the ladder. It's uh it's about it's about fifteen feet. So Krevgar, you know, he tells you that uh good luck and try to find as many survivors as you can. And then he kind of looks at you Silver Claw. He says, "Try to find another captive, will ya? Seeing that you killed the last one, I'll bring one more important." And this then time. he and then he disappears, and the grate slams back over, and you hear it click. But you have well. a key as well, so. Well, forward march. I All suggest right. what's, that Zealous goes first. Let's put this giant hole in the middle, Dave. 
that that's basically just a uh, just a uh, basically it's where you guys came down. So it's just okay. a, a disturbance in the uh, on the floor from where all the dust is and settled basically. Uh, when we get to this point, I suggest that Zealous scouts ahead just in case. Yeah, definitely. Um, and seeing that it's bright lit where you're at as well, I don't know if it's going to be the best thing to try to use the shadows to your advantage. I mean, you can you can definitely take advantage of it, and I'll give you... But with the torch right up on you, you know what I mean? It just yeah. uh, probably so, is not so going to work out for back a little bit. I have another 10 feet of movement that I'd like to take. Okay, go ahead and, and take it. And each square does represent five feet as well. And as you start to uh, as you start to move to the south, you notice that the the walls, the ceiling, are all lined with spiders, spider webs. And as you kind of you kind of survey the you kind of survey the area a little bit, as you're starting to encroach down this this hallway, and you see a lot of small spiders. Nothing nothing bigger than you know the size of, you know, a couple fingers put together or something. So it doesn't look like there's, so far it doesn't look like there's any kind of massive type of spider. And those, those spiders are only big of, uh, of what you've heard of. You've never seen a spider, a, a huge spider anyways. Um, since I have dark vision, I'll follow up behind him as well. Okay. So yeah, this uh, this this corridor is pretty much. I mean, it's choked all the way down. As and you know, as soon as everybody starts to enter, uh, this this whole entire corridor is just choked with spider webs all the way down. But it's clear. I mean, it's not obstructive. You're not sticking to the walls or anything. I mean, you can definitely only fit, you know, one wide. That it's like Escobert and uh, Night Hill told you. Uh, this is definitely a uh, a single, you know, single man <coughs> line. Going to be worth torching the cobwebs, or is that going to cause more sure. problems? Sure. No, you can. I mean, you can. I mean, it's you can you can torch them. We'll see what happens. I mean, you you can definitely do that. So. Um, as you suggest that I go, just in case there's a mother spider who doesn't, <laughs> who might wake up. Uh, I mean, surely, maybe not. Might just be in legends that spiders are that big. I'm going to turn and whisper back to the party that I see a branch in the corridors in the in the sewer ahead. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and give me a? Uh, I want you to give me a, a dexterity check, and if you're proficient in stealth, which I know you are, 